that's all I have to say to the Art Council. Okay, so you need you need the support from the oh the community, the community support, especially from our community and our community. I mean, the African Caribbean community have been fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen increase in business, although they talk about credit crunch <coughs> and all that. I mean, our people have been patronizing the shop. And don't believe this racist term that they tell you black people don't read. It's never true. Yes. Black people read a lot. Yes. And as you know, I mean, you, uh, one of the publishers that we work with is these publications. Right. And their titles are very much highly sought, sought after. What titles are they? Uh, the Black Scientist Series. The Black Scientist and Inventor. The Black Scientist and Inventor published by these publications. These are very much sought, sought after by uh, uh, young uh, and old alike. I mean, the, it's not only young people who buy those books, but mm -hmm. because there are other adults who know very little about black, uh, their own history, black people, their own history. So mm -hmm. it's not only young people who mm -hmm. uh, buy those titles, but it's only adults as well. So what do you think about those titles? Because I know that there's the Black Sun 73 and there's Black Women Scientists and as one. Well, the truth of the matter is that I can't get enough to sell. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They are very, very popular. I mean, very, very highly, uh, very well written. And also, I mean, it, it tells you a lot about the achievements of our people mm. that ordinarily you wouldn't get in any uh, uh, other book other than uh, the series they are uh, producing. So it is very, very good. So how did you and this publications, uh, is it Michael Williams? Yeah, Michael Williams. I've been working with Michael Williams for more years than I can remember. Yeah. I remember very well when he used to pop in with the, uh, the original series. And the current series is a very big improvement. And uh, all I can say is, uh, well, then Michael, keep it up. We've been working together for quite a long time. And he supports us and we support him. He yeah. was, these publications was at the book fair last year. We expect to see them again this year. And so what do you hope when, when people read, um, the young people read, obviously, uh, Black Scientist Inventors? What are the things that you've seen? What are the kind of responses that you, you've received? I think, I think the most important thing is uh, they are surprised. Okay. And uh, it's not only young people, like I say. I, I flip through the books myself and I'm at times amazed about the achievements of our people. There are things that I read that, that I d don't know, yeah. and uh, I wasn't educated in this country, so uh, I was educated in It's one o'clock. And uh, there are a whole lot of things. I mean, we proud ourselves, those of us who were born in the Caribbean and uh, the mother continent, we pride ourselves of knowing more about our history. Yeah. But the Black Scientist series has been very, very educative and So they're very important. Yeah, very important. Uh, and allowing people even like myself to learn more about my history and also so that I can impart it to young people and other people as well. So the book is highly recommended and I would recommend it to anyone. Fantastic. And is there anything you'd like to say um, to, uh, to anybody about, one, I mean, obviously about Black Tiles Scientist Inventors, but also about your bookshop in general, you know? The, the well, we, we've got a lot of support. We still need uh, more support. But the important thing is for people to write, tell our own story. I mean, we need more authors from the uh, black community. We need more writers. Because certainly the market is there. Uh, there is a lot of support. We have events here, maybe two or three events a month. Yeah, and it's mostly by black, black authors. And uh, their audience is there. They are always waiting to see what's uh, on offer. I mean, just a while ago, there was one lady who popped in here, was asking her, she said she's head. Uh, there are events here every Wednesday and also uh, that sort of type of thing and we give her a leaflet mm -hmm. and she's promised to pop in on Sunday mm -hmm. and we have a seven day week operation here. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Uh, indeed. And I mean, what's the time that you open and close? Uh, the bookshop is open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The restaurant finishes at 10 p.m. Okay. And what's the address? If I 136 Kingsland High Street, London, Hackney, E8.
N-A-T-U-N-S. Telephone 0207-254-9632. Website www.centerprisetrust.org.uk. Right, I'm going to ask you just to repeat the telephone number one more time and also the website, website yeah. address. Website www.centerprisetrust.org.uk. Yes. Telephone 0207-254-9632. And finally, yes. like I said, we have the Wet Power International Black Literature Festival and Book Fair taking place again this year yes. at the Emirates, uh, the conference uh, halls of Arsenal Football Club. And the dates are 10th to 12th October 2008. Excellent. Well, thank you for taking the time out today. As I said, I know you're very, very busy, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you, too. Take care, Anytime. Manuel. Yeah.